This tank is a Type 61. I believe it's a Japanese Tier 9 medium tank. The map is Al Haluf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the cap. This is in counter mode. And I'm going to force the enemy to come to reset the cap. And I haven't watched this replay yet. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But I seem to recall that the enemy is going to try to come in and reset cap. They're going to fail. My allies are going to do an excellent job. And I'm not doing this as a capping mission. I'm not doing it because I need to get a certain number of damage or spotting or whatever. I'm just doing it for fun. You know, I'm, I, whenever I play in counter mode, I think, is there going to come a point where I'm going to need to get on that cap? Uh, in the old um, version of World of Tanks, you used to cap very quickly, but then they changed it so it takes a lot longer to cap, and I think it ruined encounter mode. Uh, because what it does is it reinforces the fact that everyone's just ignoring encounter mode, and they're just playing as if it's any battle, any regular standard battle. And before, if you got on the cap, the enemy had to had to do whatever it took to reset the cap, which means that the game was a lot more interesting. So now there's no incentive for the enemy to uh, reset cap, so it's a lot boring, a lot more boring. So we're going to advance. Okay, so now I've decided for some reason to get on the cap, or shall we say to ride near the cap. <laughs> Even though I have low hit points, you know, I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to play a little bit more cautious. So I am concerned because when you're on the cap, uh, the enemy can poke through uh, the opening, which is on that hill, and they can shoot at you, and they probably will in this game. One of the issues is you want to sit on the cap where you can spot the enemy. You can see that there's four minutes left, and uh, I th I'm pretty sure the enemy is going to make the wrong move. Uh, the TL1 LPC was heading towards the cap, but he got killed by the EBR. So now, now we've got an interesting situation. The, the EBR is now on the cap. You can see some enemy tanks are coming around. I'm probably not going to fire. Oh, I guess I am. So you notice I fired at him and I got off the cap. But why go after him when I can get him to come to me? And now he's dead. He died because of that, and I'm not even capping. And look at this AMX 13105. He dove over the side. The 430U dove over the side. This other guy's coming thinking he's going to help out. He died. So that was two enemy tanks that just died because they're concerned about the cap. Score is 9 to 3. When I got on the cap, I believe the score was 4 to 3. So it looks like there's a chance I'm going to get off the cap. So I just wanted to show you how you can use the cap to uh, motivate the enemy. Basically what used to happen is that you'd get on the cap and the enemy would make suicide runs. You'd have all your snipers up here and the enemy would just run in and, and get killed. Another one would run in and get killed. Another one would run in and get killed. And some of them would get killed right when they were about to reset the cap. It was way more fun. In the old game mode, there were more snipers because even the heavy tanks would sit and snipe. Uh, there wasn't all of this action. There was one place up in the corner to battle and there wasn't room for everybody to fight. It was only easy for one or two people, three at the most. Four people would not be able to play in the corner. So then they change it because, you know, people complain about encounter mode and, and I think it's ruined now.